welcome to trinad chemistry classes in this video i am going to discuss about uh, types of organic reactions this is the first year general organic chemistry topic in this video i am going to discuss about uh, various types of organic reactions present in uh, general organic chemistry before going to the in details of types of organic reactions we need to learn about two things one is nucleophile and another one is electrophile what is a nucleophile and what is an electrophile these are the attacking reagents in organic chemistry these are the attacking reagents in organic what is a nucleophile nucleophile is a species nucleophile is a species it is a electron rich it is a electron rich species and can donate electrons can donate electrons to the electron deficient cells can donate electron to the electron deficient centers nucleophile is the species which is electron rich and can donate electrons can donate electrons to the electron deficient centers what is nucleophile nucleophile is electron rich and can donate electrons to the electron deficient centers for example all anions all anions acts as the nucleophiles for example cn minus or oh minus like this all the och3 minus all these species are acting as nucleophile similarly so there are some neutral molecules for example ammonia having lone pair of electrons act, acting as a nucleophile for example h2o or nh3 because there is a lone pair of electrons on the nitrogen atom of nh3 and oxygen atom of oh h2o molecule this is nucleophile is the species uh, nucleophile is the species which is electron rich and can donate electron electrons to the electron deficient centers electron deficient centers during the during the pol during a polar organic reaction a nucleophile attacks an electrophilic center of the substrate during the polar organic reactions during the polar organic reactions nucleophile where it attacks it attacks the it attacks the an electrophilic center of the substrate electrophilic center of the substrate electrophilic center of the substrate which is the specific atom or part of the electrophile part of the electrophile the second one is electrophile what is electrophile the electrophile means sir, this is electron deficient this is species which is electron deficient and can accept electrons can accept electrons is called electrophile what is an electrophile electrophile is the electron deficient and can accept electrons is called electrophile generally all positive ions positive ions acts as the electrophiles similarly there are uh, electron deficient species bf3 alcl3 fecl3 all lewis acid acts as the electrophiles because as these are electron deficient they can readily accept the electrons from the donors these two are the uh, intermediates the attacking reagents in the uh, organic chemistry there is a one more term that is free radical what is a free radical free radical is the odd electron containing species free radical is the odd electrons odd electron containing species is called free radical odd electron containing species is called free radical generally free radicals having odd electrons unpaired electrons means odd number of electrons the species which are having odd number of electrons are called free radicals and these are formed in the homolytic fission of a covalent bond homolytic fission of a covalent bond we know that during the organic 
or reactions. The mole the fission may happen. The fission may be homolytic or heterolytic. Homolytic means equally distributing means the fission we are calling it as the homolytic fission. And if one of the atom is taking the electron and other atom is using that electron, that species we are calling it as calling them as the um yeah, that fission we are calling it as the heterolytic fission. So free radicals are generally formed in the homolytic fission of an organic reaction. Homolytic fission of an organic reaction. Now let us come to our actual topic: uh, types of organic reactions. Types of organic reactions, which is important for IP point of view. Organic reactions. Types of organic reactions. For four marks, any two they may ask, and uh, we should have an idea what type of organic reactions a particular compound is undergoing. Right. So the organic reactions. Can be classified into the uh, following four categories. One is addition reactions. One is addition reactions. Second one is substitution reactions. Second one is substitution reactions. Third one is elimination reactions. Third one is elimination reactions. And fourth one is rearrangement reactions. Rearrangement reactions. Organic reactions. Can be classified into addition reactions, substitution reactions, elimination reactions, and uh, rearrangement reactions. And uh, rearrangement reactions. Now let us discuss one by one what is an addition reaction, what is a substitution reaction, what is an elimination reaction, and what is a rearrangement reaction. In this one, first one is addition reactions. What are addition reactions? In these reactions, in these reactions. The reagent and the substrate. The reagent and the substrate. Reagent and substrate combine. Reagent and substrate. Reagent and the substrate combine together. Combine together to give a single product. To give a to give a together to give a single product. Single. Product to give a single product. In this, uh, the addition reactions means uh, the reactions in which uh, the reagent and the substrate combine. The reagent and the substrate combine. The reagent and the substrate combine together to give a single product. Such reactions we are calling them as the addition reactions. For example, uh, alkenes undergoes. These addition reactions. Similarly, all kinds, right? You see here when by this compound is ethene, it is when it is treated with bromine, it is forming a uh, dibromo, one comma two dibromo ethene, one comma two dibromo ethene, one comma two dibromo ethene, right? Here, what is happening? This uh, this is the sorry, uh, the substrate and this is the reagent. These two are combining and forming a Single product. Such reactions we are calling them as the addition reactions. These addition reactions are further classified into three types. One is electrophilic addition reactions. One is electrophilic addition reactions. Second one is nucleophilic addition reactions. Nucleophilic addition reactions. And third one is free radicals addition reactions. Free radical addition reactions. You see. On what basis they have classified into electrophilic, nucleophilic, and free radical? See the which species attacking? Which species is attacking in the rate determining step of the addition reaction? Based on that, if electrophile is attacking the substrate, if electrophile is attacking the substrate in the rate determining step, if electrophile is attacking the uh, attacking the substrate in the rate determining step. Such addition reactions are called electrophilic addition reactions. If nucleophile is attacking in the rate determining step of a addition reaction, such reactions are called nucleophilic addition reactions. Such reactions are called nucleophilic addition reactions. If free radical is attacking, if free radical is attacking in the rate determining step, such reactions are called uh, free radical addition reactions. Free radical 
addition reaction so for example uh, if you take uh, unsaturated hydrocarbons alkenes and alkynes alkenes and alkynes undergoes uh, this uh, electrophilic addition reactions for example the uh, carbonyl compounds that is aldehydes and ketones aldehydes and ketones generally undergoes nucleophilic addition reactions nucleophilic addition reactions so this is uh, about uh, addition reactions so our next content is substitution reactions then here the name itself is saying substitution you see substitution reactions means the substitution reactions means in these reactions are the reactions in which an atom an atom or group of atoms group of atoms is replaced by replaced by another atom or group of atoms another atom or group of atoms is replaced by an atom or another uh, by an atom or group of atoms in the it is replaced by another atom or another group of atoms are called a uh, substitution reactions in these reactions an atom or group of the group of atoms of this substrate group of atoms of this substrate is replaced by another atom or group another atom or group an atom or group of atoms or group or group of atoms of a substrate is replaced by another atom or group of atoms such reactions are called substitution reactions are called substitution reactions again these are also classified into three types one is free radical substitution reactions one is free radical substitution reactions if free radical is substituted by another free radical such reactions are called free radical substitution reaction if an electrophile is substituted by another electrophile such reactions are called electrophilic substitution reactions such reactions are called electrophilic substitution reactions if nucleophile is replaced by another nucleophile such reactions are called nucleophilic substitution reactions nucleophilic substitution reactions for example if you take up alkenes generally undergoes this free radical substitution reactions whereas benzene if you take it undergoes the electrophilic participates in electrophilic substitution reaction whereas if you take a halogen containing compounds that is alkyl halides and aryl halides undergoes nucleophilic substitution reactions nucleophilic substitution reactions so this is about substitution reaction third one is elimination reaction third one is what elimination reaction generally elimination reaction so elimination reaction elimination reaction so reverse of addition reactions reverse of addition reactions so what we have done in addition reaction in this in addition reactions a substrate and a reagent are combining together are combining together to form a a single product now in elimination reactions means in these reactions in these reactions two or more atoms or groups two two or more atoms or groups two or two or more atoms or groups of an organic substrate are removed to form multiple bond to form multiple bond to or more atoms to or more atoms or groups to or more atoms or groups of an organic substrate of an organic substrate organic substrate or removed or removed to form multiple bonds removed to form multiple bonds such reactions we are calling them as elimination reactions in these reactions two or two or more atoms or groups of an organic substrate are removed to form multiple bonds to form multiple bonds 
such reactions we are calling them as elimination reactions now these are reverse of addition reactions for example if you take if you take uh, ethanol when treated with concentrated h2s at 170 degree centigrade at 170 degree centigrade what is happening is hydrogen is removing from the hydrogen is removing from the one carbon and oh minus is from the adjacent carbon to form a multiple bond such reactions we are calling them as the um, elimination reactions elimination reactions means uh, the atoms or group of atoms are removed from the removed from the organic substrate to form multiple bonds such reactions we are calling them as uh, elimination reactions then last one is rearrangement reaction the last one is rearrangement reactions this is the rearrangement reactions means here one or more organic species one or one here one or one or one organic species sorry one organic species is rearranged to one organic species is organic species is rearranged to other such reactions in these reactions one organic species is in this rearrangement reactions one organic species is rearranged to other organic species one organic species is rearranged to other organic species rearranged to other organic species such reactions we are calling them as or rearrangement reactions for example uh, we have example for this rearrangement reaction is fris rearrangement fris rearrangement fris rearrangement in this one what is happening is what is happening is ortho acylate see here in fris rearrangement ortho acylated phenol has been kinetically controlled product see in this reaction what is happening is this rearranged to oh and c double bond is ortho acylated phenol is formed ortho acylated phenol is formed from this product here what is happening is rearrangement of this ch3co from this to this position this one we are calling it as the fris rearrangement see in rearrangement reactions an organic species an organic one organic species is rearranges to other organic species rearranges to other organic species so these are the four types of these are the four types of organic reactions so basically organic reactions are classified into four types one is addition reaction second one is substitution reaction third one is elimination reaction and fourth one is rearrangement reaction for the addition reactions uh, an atom or uh, organic or substrate and the reagent they are combining and forming a single product in substitution an atom or group of atoms is replaced with another atom or another group of atoms in elimination reaction one or two or more atoms or two or two or more atoms or groups are removed and forming multiple bonds such reactions we are calling them as uh, elimination reaction in rearrangement reaction one species one organic species is rearranged to other organic species such reactions are called elimination reactions for rearrangement reactions here in ipe point of view in intermediate public person public exam point of view if it is asked you need to write some de definition of that addition reaction and then we need to give some example thank you